mongoose is a small terrestrial carnivorous mammal belonging to the family Herpestidae. This family is currently split into two subfamilies, the Herpestini and the Mungotini. The Herpestini comprises 23 living species that are native to southern Europe, Africa and Asia whereas the Mongodini comprises 11 species native to Africa. Mongooses have long faces and bodies, small, rounded ears, short legs, and long, tapering tails. Most are brindled or grizzly, a few have strongly marked coats which bear a striking resemblance to mustelids. Their non-retractile claws are used primarily for digging. Mongooses, much like goats, have narrow, ovular pupils. Most species have a large anal scent gland, used for territorial marking and signaling reproductive status. Mongooses are one of at least four known mammalian toxa with mutations in the nocotinocacetylcholine receptor that protect against snake venom. Their modified receptors prevent the snake venom neurotoxin from binding. These represent four separate, independent mutations. In the mongoose, this change is affected uniquely by glycosylation. Mongooses mostly feed on insects, crabs, earthworms, lizards, birds, and rodents. However, they also eat eggs and carrion. The Indian gray mongoose and others are well known for their ability to fight and kill venomous snakes, particularly cobras. They are adept at such tasks due to their agility, thick coats, and specialized acetylcholine receptors that render them resistant or immune to snake venom. However, they typically avoid the cobra and have no particular affinity for consuming its meat. The mongoose emits a high-pitched noise, commonly known as giggling, when it mates. Giggling is also heard during courtship. Communities of female banded mongooses, mungos mungo, synchronize their whelping to the same date to deter infanticide by dominant females. The female will carry the young in her body for several weeks. When they emerge they will be born and burrow. They are blind and helpless for about 10 days. She will keep them warm, safe, and feed them milk from her body. They will come out of the burrow when they are several weeks old. Many of the females will work together to care for the needs of the young. They create a very similar structure to a human nursery or daycare setting. The young will learn a great deal from the older juveniles. This includes digging finding food, and being on the alert to danger. They are very playful and the young often create strong bonds with their mothers. They will stay close even after they are mature. Some species can learn simple tricks. They can be semi-domesticated and are kept as pets to control vermin. However, they can be more destructive than desired. When imported into the West Indies to kill rats, they destroyed most of the small, ground-based fauna. For this reason, it is illegal to import most species of mongooses into the United States, Australia, and other countries. Mongooses were introduced to Hawaii in 1883 and have had a significant adverse effect on native species. In ancient Mesopotamia, mongooses were sacred to the deity Ninilin, who was conflated with Ninirima, a deity of magic who was invoked for protection against serpents. According to a Babylonian popular saying, when a mouse fled from a mongoose into a serpent's hole, it announced, 
I bring you greetings from the snake charmer. A creature resembling a mongoose also appears in Old Babylonian Glyptocarp, but its significance is not known. According to Greek historian Diodorus Siculus, Egyptians venerated native mongooses, herpest signumen, for their ability to handle venomous snakes and for their occasional diet of crocodile eggs. The Buddhist god of wealth Vaisravana, or Zambala for Tibetans, is frequently depicted holding a mongoose that is spitting jewels from its mouth. The Hindu god of wealth, Kubra, being the son of Vishrava, fame, Kubra is also called Vaisravana, is often portrayed holding a mongoose in his left hand. Hence the sight of a mongoose is considered lucky by some. All mongoose species, except for Suricata suricata, are classed as a prohibited new organism under New Zealand's Hazardous Substances and New Organisms Act 1996, preventing them from being imported into the country. A well-known fictional mongoose is Ricky, Tiki, Tavi who appears in a short story of the same title in The Jungle Book, 1894, by Rudyard Kipling. In this tale set in India, the young mongoose saves his family from a crate and from Nagand Nagana, two cobras. The story was later made into several films and a song by Donovan, among other references. A mongoose is also featured in Bram Stoker's novel The Lair of the White Worm. The main character, Adam Salton, purchases one to independently hunt snakes. Another mongoose features in the denouement of the Sherlock Holmes story The Adventure of the Crooked Man, by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. The Indian Tamil devotional film Padivitu Aman shows Tamil actor Vinu Chakravarthi changing himself into a mongoose by using his evil tantric mantra, to fight with goddess Aman. However, the mongoose finally dies in the hands of the goddess. The mongoose is a prohibited animal in the United States. However, the 1962 case of Mr. Magoo became an exception. It was brought to Duluth, Minnesota by a merchant seaman and faced being euthanized. A public campaign to save it resulted in the intervention of Secretary of the Interior Stuart Udall, who exempted Magoo from the regulations. Migu lived on display as the most popular attraction of the Lake Superior Zoo, dying of old age in 1968. Pablo Neruda had a pet mongoose named Kiria while he lived in Colombo. Kiria had the habit of following the poet everywhere. However, after Neruda moved to Batavia, Kiria disappeared and was never seen again. Herpestina was a scientific name proposed by Charles Lucien Bonaparte in 1845 who considered the mongoose as a subfamily of the Viverdi. In 1864, John Edward Gray classified the mongooses into three subfamilies, Galantini, Herpestini and Mongodini. This grouping was supported by Reginald in his pocket in 1919 who referred to the family as Mungatidi. Genetic research based on nuclear and mitochondrial DNA analyses revealed that the Galatinas are more closely related to Madagascar carnivores, including the Fossa and Malagasy civet. Galatini is presently considered a subfamily of Upularidae. This family is currently split into two subfamilies, the Herpestini and the Mungodini. The Herpestini comprises 23 living species that are native to southern Europe, Africa and Asia, 
Whereas the Mungodini comprises 11 species native to Africa. Galidini is a subfamily of carnivorans that is restricted to Madagascar and includes six species classified into four genera. Together with the three other species of indigenous Malagasy carnivorans. Galidini are the smallest of the Malagasy carnivorans, generally weighing about 600 to 900 grams. They are agile, short-legged animals with long, bushy tails. In some of these characters, they resemble the mongooses, family Herpestidae, of continental Africa and southern Eurasia, with which they were classified until 2006, and accordingly they are said to be mongoose-like or even described as Malagasy mongooses. Galadinus, which share some characters with both the civets and genets, current vivridae, and the mongooses, herpestidae, were allied early on both with the former and the latter, with some going as far as to doubt that they should be placed in a different subfamily than the other mongooses.